Hey guys, it's gonna be another short tutorial, uh, but this time I'm gonna be teaching guys how to handle images and their overlays or, or the opacity or the backgrounds or the layer masking. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but let's begin, shall we? All right, so again, uh, this is just a simple uh, example. So for instance, we've got this uh, mobile screen design here ready and we are seeing this image right here of this um, little cute puppy but uh, let's suppose uh, I want a black overlay or or an underlay um, any case that suits you best but how do I do that so for instance if I want to have a black overlay over over this image or behind this image I have to select this one and for selection uh, there is a short tip uh, if you s if I select it right now, it's inside a group. You see it? Uh, it's inside a phone group. I have to like click the group and then double click to reach the image. And it it is possible that uh, uh, it wasn't like this. Uh, maybe it was inside this group and then everything was inside this group. So if I have to reach this image, I would have to click double click, gain double click, gain double click, and then I have the image. So if you want to select a <coughs> any object directly, you can just press it. Uh, you can just do it by pressing Control key, uh, and then just click over the object you want to select, and boom. See, you are selecting the image directly. Same goes for any object. So if I want to select uh, this text right here, it really looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, if I want to select it, I would have to just press the Control key keep pressing it and click the subscribe it already text do it please just like that all right so I've got this image now I want what I want is to have a black overlay or, or a gradient overlay over this image so how do I do that I have got a plus sign right here I click this one and we have sort of layer right here on top of that image so I can move that layer up and down if I want, but let's say I wanted a black overlay. So now I've got a black overlay or I can change the color right here. So let's not do red. Let's go with black because it doesn't look good with red. So I've got black overlay. Uh, I can increase or decrease the percentage. I can do it by either typing in the numbers or dragging it like this. Easy peasy. Okay, that's one way to do it. That's that's the way we got the overlay. If I want this layer to under it, under the image, I can just drag it to the bottom. Now I can make it hundred and uh, lower the opacity of the image instead. And that's how you do it. That's the easy way of uh, uh, adding an overlay or underlay over an image. So. Uh, that's one thing the other thing would be masking so <clears throat> I would have done this uh, th same thing with the masking so for instance I want this image in this bounding box so what I'm gonna do is make a copy so you can get it uh, okay one more thing how did I do that I just press the uh, curly braces key uh, it what it does it, it just places the selected object right on top of everything within that frame so I, ju I just press that key just like uh, get it on top now if I want to uh, mask it under this rectangle I would have to select these two and just press mask and that's it now I would have to resize this image just to fill in the rectangle or whatever your need is and that's it that's how you mask something but what if I wanted a gradient masking what then so let's suppose uh, we've got a circle right and we've got this image <clears throat> Mr. Duggo. let me keep it on top resize it sorry for that all right so if I mask it within that circle by just selecting those two objects and pressing this icon right here that's how you mask it right 
But what if I wanted a gradient, uh, a radial gradient with that circle? What I want to do is select that um, mask, the object that I put the mask on, select that one, and go right here. So right now, it, there is a solid background for that frame, <clears throat> for the mask. So what I want to do is I'm going to select radial, and that's it. Now, the filler part where I want the image to be visible, I would have to select the full opacity uh, color. And for the part where I want to blend it, blend it in, in the background, I would have to lower the opacity for that part. That's it. It does look really creepy right here. Let me replace it somewhere else. Um, Still creepy, eh? <laughs> but you you get my point. You might need this. This this thing comes in handy when you are creating a polka dots effect. Um, how do you do that? Let me see. We've got this circle again. Uh, we've got a circle with a radial gradient in it. All I want to do is select this. Um, select this object. Just it's just this random circles. Uh, spread out individually within same space and height so what I want to do is select these two <clears throat> get it on top of the thing that I'm gonna mask on it and then select both of them and just press mask and that's it now you have a polka type effect right here so this might come in handy so why did we do that so uh, it often happens that uh, you might want to use the polka dot effect uh, in your design and uh, rather than creating it in Photoshop or on Illustrator you can do this technique right here in the in the Figma itself the main advantage you might have is that you can uh, change the color of those dots easily quite easily by oh sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm selecting the wrong layer sorry about that yeah that's really cringy but you get what I mean so yeah that's that's all that's all for the masking if you have any question please drop a comment and you might want to subscribe the channel too or maybe like the video am I asking for too much but yeah that's that's all thank you cheers